Hello, this is Kevin of the Kevin and Sherry videos. Uh, this is video number 32, uh, showing our 29 gallon tank here. Uh, we set up, uh, mainly we set this tank up to hold fish that for one reason or another we couldn't put in our 100 gallon reef or we couldn't put in the 300 gallon fowler for different reasons. Uh, some of these aren't reef safe, uh, some of them are just too small for the big fish. Uh, so for whatever reason we have them in here for, for different things. Um, there's a Knox uh, Midnight Angel fish in here, there's a Snooty Maori, he likes to hide. We got a little tiny baby Harlequin Tusk, uh, he's right up over there. Okay, there's our Maroon Clown. Uh, we have them in here because we have a set of Maroon Clowns out in our refugium and we have clowns in every other tank and we're trying to keep the aggression down and make sure he lives. There's Orby, our little tiny, tiny cowfish. When we first got him, he was so small he didn't even have horns. He was half the size he is now. There's our mono. And we got our little wrasse here. If anybody knows what he is, the store we got him from, nobody can actually nail it down what this fish is. You know, if anybody knows, feel free to leave a post and we can go from there. Okay, I'll move over away from the 29. You can see as I back up. And here in the same room, there's our 300 fowler. Got a really big uh, porcupine puffer we picked up a couple weeks ago. Call him Corky. He's named after the character in the TV show Life Goes On. There's our Fowler with everything in here. We had a little uh, a little tomato clown here. Um, he was being a little jerk in the 100 gallon reef to a couple new oscillaris we got. So we threw him in here and he survives along with the cinnamon and there's a good sized Clarky clown in here. Here's our little passer here. She's a pretty fish and she's aggressive enough that she t tells all these big boys uh, this is me and leave me alone. There's Goldie, our fork tail rabbit fish. Uh, moving right on to our 100 gallon reef. We've added a lot of things in here, a lot of differences, a lot of changes. Uh, over here in the corner, we've only had him a couple of days. We got our Potter Angel Fish. She's pretty. And get some good shots of her. She's gorgeous. And she's just kind of sit there circling, trying to decide where home is. There's a lot. There's our hippo. We've got three, t uh, actually two tilefish in here and uh, one blue gudgeon. He's a liar tail blue gudgeon. I don't know. I can see him in the tank, but I don't know if the camera can pick him up. They were out earlier. There he is right there. And get it back to zoom and clear. There's one of them right there sticking his head out. Okay. There's our Coral Beauty Angelfish. We've added a few angelfish in here in the last few weeks. Uh, for the last couple years we've had our Hawaiian Flame. And we've added a Keyhole Angel, a uh, Potter's Angel of course, and a Coral Beauty. And you see her swimming back and forth across the front. Got our little. Uh, we've had to remove two brains out of here because of the keyhole angel. She'd like to pick on them, so we took them out and moved them into other tanks. That is one thing you have a risk of with small angels: is they like to pick on the stony corals. Our flame, our Hawaiian flame angel, has never picked on anything like that. She's been really good. There's a neon dotty back in there. And there's our Vroliki Ras. Or I actually I think it's called a Vrolix Ras. First got him, he was female, he was all white, and he changed. There's a keyhole angel right in there a little bit. Gorgonia in here in front. There's one of the new clowns in here. He's got pretty color. Those are awesome words. There's Pot we called the Potter's Angel, we named him Potsy. 
He is pretty. Got some nice color. And there's OJR orange spotted rabbit fish. She is different. As is this one right here. And we went back to the fish store and we had about a six inch Huma Huma Picasso trigger fish and we traded him back in and got a little tiny guy. And there's twin spot, our nine inch, about nine inch uh, twin spot uh, chorus. Anticipating her adult color change. Coran's finally changed. Finally done. It took him over a year to do the full change. Annularis changed real quick. There she is right there. Yeah, there's Passer. When we put Passer in a couple weeks ago, uh, we didn't have we expected aggression from the Koran and the Annularis and there was none. She it was like she's been in here the whole time and everybody accepted her. Anyway, enjoy the video, and thanks for watching.